Hello, everybody. We are back with episode three. We're just going to get going to the hospital. One sec. All right. Keep to the roofs, because if the howler spots you. Yeah, I know. Don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. I don't know if I want to do this right now. I'd prefer to do it Once tomorrow. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. That's really it's sad. Fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? Making our way across the roof here. I don't like these noises these fuckers are making. Here we go. Oh, I ah. fucked up. Oh. No, oh, we're good. The lock is broken. Don't oh. worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. supposed to go though oh okay that makes sense I'm at the main entrance I marked a safe route for you I'm waiting by the lobby I want to know how you got it When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. And they paid them loads of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Another artifact. I'm gonna have to read all these later. I'll do that on my own time, though. Just a little more. Of course, unless you guys want to. We don't to. have much time. Stay close to me. I, I'm confused where to go. I think I went on the wrong side. Oh, 
crawling up the hill. Where do you go? Oh, I can tell we're gonna have to make a hasty escape out of here. Lock. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if uh, you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lock picks out of that. Okay. Ah, there we go. Gonna craft like one, maybe one more. All right, that should be good. Ah, good work. Yeah, yeah, not a block pick in this. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. Damn, Aiden, why are you being such an ass, man? He's trying to help you <gasps> out. What the hell? Excited and shit. Now relax. Fuck. Oh, some help. There you go. There's about to be zombies in here. That won't work. Shh. Let's go. This way. Dark zone in front of us. Keep quiet. Right thing here. Oh, wait. Nah, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. I'm just feeling woozy all of a sudden. It must be the infection. Don't give in. We'll get you a marker and you'll know where you stand. 
Yeah, thanks. That's what that bar is. When they lost control of the virus, the GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But, well, the world is full of shitheads. Ugh! <sighs> 
and hype. I guess so. <laughs> Can you climb up? Sure, just give me a sec. Hurry. We're running out of time. Whoa. I can't make it. Wait. I've got an idea. Remember the cocktail I served you earlier at the girls' workshop? Inhibitors. Exactly. You fell to the first floor. There's some GRE storage down there. Look for white green crates. Inhibitors should be inside. If you take another dose, you should get your strength back. All right. So the GRE crates are the best thing. So I'm like the only one with a key. Looks like we're just running through this. figure this out. Oh, how about this? Aiden, hurry. If that infected finds you, you're dead.
Should I not be looting? Should I be running right now? Sees us. He won't. Besides, you'd have to catch us too. Come on, don't back out now. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a chicken, Eddie. Close that door. Found aspirin. Okay. I took the inhibitor. Fantastic. Go back to the elevator. I'm waiting. I can do this. Let's get it. Back on. Hurry. I found the markers. Hold up. Is there anything else here? Let's grab that. All right. Oh, are you in what? You were gone a while. How are you feeling? I'm infected, but good to go. Yeah, that's great. Sorry about this. What? Sorry about what? <laughs> about that. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. <laughs> You're about to turn. Get into the light fast. close oh what would you do without me pilgrim <laughs> i never wanted to become a pilgrim I just sort of fell into it 
Roam the country for another reason entirely. I'm looking for my sister. Sister? Yeah, her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together. I think a guy named Waltz was experimenting on us. Well, a lot of nut jobs in the world, huh? Yeah. I have to learn the truth. And then what? And then? What will you do once you find your sister? I haven't thought about that. Well, that's odd. Well, there'll be time for that, once I find her. Once you find her? Well, I have a very specific plan. You look like someone with a specific plan. I'd like to live by the ocean. You know, it's supposed to be easier there. I always wanted to learn how to surf. What, you find a bunch of old postcards or something? Ah, don't laugh at my dreams, man. I know one thing. I have to get out of this city. It's killing me. Right from the inside. Will you help me? Absolutely. The ocean's a long way from here. And we're both infected. People don't want pilgrims for their neighbors. Fuck people. I will help you with them. And you can help me survive on the road. You know the routes. You know how to survive out in the open. What do you think? We cover each other's asses. How does that sound? Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Deal. You won't regret this, Aiden. I promise. As for your goal, here's the situation around here. After the PK commander was murdered, they blocked the route to the center. They're trying to keep the killer from escaping. To get to Fisheye, we have to outsmart them. But I know when they change the night guard. That will be our chance. I'm gonna get the stuff we'll need for the passage. I have to suss out our odds. Meantime, take a look around. Live a little. Uh, come on. Let me show you something. All right, let's go see it. Let me heal up a little bit. Mushroom? Here, you'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador, plenty of interesting spots to check out. Okay. Oh, I see. You see the church? That's where the howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? How could things get any worse? No, I'll say be back that. in touch when I've got a handle on things. Things can always get worse. You just jinxed us. Alright. Well, it's looking like I'm about to be getting into all of this, uh, open world adventure. What am I doing? What's the move? Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
I can throw coins? I don't like that. Don't throw coins. Hi, buddy. Take the honey. <laughs> Wait, what's this? There are rumors about a lost garden of Eden found under a glass ceiling somewhere on over. <laughs> That's a dead zoom. We're gonna make... We're gonna get to one more episode after this. Sorry. Part. Mission, whatever it's called. I don't even know if there's chapters in this game. Isn't this that place we were trying to get into? Whatever. Hello? Knock knock? Anybody home? going what a day no freaking way i can do it five years of learning and hey, all for nothing i just have you know, to get I it right talk to you, but i got a mission to you. Come on, I won't fight. hey hold on traitor hey, that's the pilgrim huh? haven't seen you around here before okay Making money. 
Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast. Oh, boy. How dare they close the passage to the center? We are wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Billador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? Absolutely. I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans, and can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. I think this guy's lying. The he totally poisoned me. Five years of learning and all... What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Yep. Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. Okay. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash. But he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Wow. Really? Yeah, that's a little rough, bud. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? Wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. How does that keep them under control? So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. 
I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As okay. far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Do I have the parts you need? <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are oh, you sure. serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Awesome. Yeah, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Okay. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. The goat pen, huh? Well, who else can I meet? Hey. Yeah, it's the pilgrim. Hi. Hi. Yeah, pilgrim, aren't you? That's yeah. right. Do you hang people for that too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't. Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. Well, I guess so. Well, alrighty guys, I'm gonna call that. This is the end of episode three. Have a good one guys. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.